and then we'll start. Cool. <laughs> awesome. We'll start. Cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm just going to share it with some people, make sure they know that it's on. All right. Cool. People are going on and joining on in, which is awesome. All righty. I think it's safe to start, and then people can come on and join on in when we're in the middle of it. Awesome. Beautiful. So I would like to introduce to you um, Nicola. She's amazing. She's done. She's been doing a lot in South Africa. She has um, a really amazing history and um, – religions and you know humanitarian activities it's quite amazing um and i wanted to bring her here today to um, speak to you about what she's been working on um some things that she has for the future and her viewpoints and plans and it's all going to be amazing so thank you for joining yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> awesomeness cool. This is going to be cool. a great live. I'm super excited. I'm going to get a lot of questions yeah, I, answered from Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see any um, comments or anything. It's literally. Yeah, it's going to be a little blank over there. But um, what I'll do is you're going to be able to see. I'll tell you um, the comments that come up when they come up. And then oh. um, we'll answer them when they come up and stuff as if there's any questions or any compliments. Um, and then. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably project them onto the screen, so maybe you could even see them then too. Okay. Amazing. Cool. So the first question I have is, um, what could you tell us a little bit about your background and um, what you've been working on, where you're living, um, you know, just just the plans and give me some background data because the viewers they love to find out more about whoever we have on. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically my history is I come from a Scientologist family and my parents have been like really good Scientologists for many years, even before. Uh, my dad is a musician and he's been very well known here in South Africa and he's taken that to a whole <laughs> another level. So wow. he, yes, um, he's gotten into human rights, children's human rights, way to happiness. Um, he has gotten into the hands of celebrities, government officials. Um, yeah. That is incredible. <laughs> he is a good friend of, yeah, the daughter of Nelson Mandela. Um, so that is super cool. and. They're pro the way to happiness. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just the daughter over here, but I do like a lot of other stuff. <laughs> like, great, 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 great. <laughs> that is so, so awesome. Yeah, it's very easy for anyone here to just hand out anything, like the way to happiness, human rights. You can just go and the people here are so appreciative. It's not, it's like, day and night. They're like, thank you so much. They're so happy. <laughs> wow. That is so yeah. neat. That is so cool. Yeah, the That's environment actually... is very different. <laughs> really? Yeah, because yeah. I heard from one of my friends, um, um, David, um, he's over there, and he said that it's very, help is very appreciated there. It's very yes. much appreciated and valued. And it's yeah. like really neat. Um, it's a whole different environment. And I'd love, I'd like, eventually I'll go over to South Africa sometime and really go check it out for myself. But it's a beautiful area. And, you know, it's just, it's just, um, I have a lot of friends that have told me some really amazing stories there that I'm, that I'm like, wow, that is super cool. I wish it happened here. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we need to, um, improve a little bit over in our country to be as good as um, South Africa, but we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, 
I mean, it was, Ron did state that from Southern Africa will spring the next great civilization. But, and that's literally what's happening because Scientology and all its technology will be on its side. I promise you that's what's happening. It's, I promise you. <laughs> that is so neat. That is so neat. It makes me so happy knowing that. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> this is like the place to be right now. Like, <laughs> there is so much theta here. It's like, yeah. Wow. That, yeah. that is, yeah. that's inspirational. Uh, honestly, that's, yeah. that's really inspirational. Yes. Now, you did tell me this really amazing story I want to touch on. Um, yes. Actually, I have one comment here that I'm going to read to you because I think it's really cool. It says, mm -hmm. as a Canadian in Johannesburg, I can attest to you, you know, to all you're both saying about this country and its beautiful people. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's so, so cool. <laughs> yeah. So Benjamin, yeah, he's, be Benjamin is Benjamin. Um, sharing that with us. Cool. Hi, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. So thank you so much, Benjamin. That is so cool that you share the reality of Nicola. And um, I super, super, super agree that um, South Africa is just an amazing place. And, you know, I hope one day I'll go over there and visit. And, um, yeah, we'll check it on out when it happens. <laughs> yeah, it's and really then I had, Yeah, I had this other question for you, um, just based on what you were saying about them in uh, the Mandela's and um, yes, I think what was really cool about it is when you were explaining it to me I um, I kind of was like whoa whoa, that's amazing like I was actually kind of mind blown um, And I wanted to have you touch on that subject really quickly because I think it's a really cool story um, And um, you just share what you can share about it I mean I know there's some things you probably can't but there's some things you can and um, whatever you can share that would be amazing if you could um, so could you please give us some information about, um, you know, the way to happiness, you know, and Mandela's and how amazing they are? Mm. Okay, so this started with my dad, who had made a sculpture, a sculpture of him, uh, dancing. Um, and we call that the Dancing Madiba, okay? <laughs> That's his nickname. That's and so cool. <laughs> and for many years we hadn't been able to give it to him and eventually uh, Zanani who was his daughter anyway she came here and to my place literally here and said okay well um, why doesn't your family come over and come to my place and give it to my dad Nelson Mandela so <laughs> I was like, I am skipping school. I am like doing this. <laughs> that is so awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I went and I was at his place. It's secure, like literally police officers are standing at his gate with like those metal detectors and <laughs> bodyguards that will escort you to his front door. Oh, good. So I'm at Mandela's house, okay. And he's sitting there, like, chill. He was so calm. He was like, please come sit down. And we had tea and we had we talked. And then we gave him the way to happiness and the statue. He was very grateful. Um, like, even his grandkids were there. They were so excited. They wanted me to play with them. Um, I was 12 years old. So, wow. Um, it was very cool. Yeah. Actually, um, that's. that's <laughs> yeah. I mean, can you see that? Wow. Let me see if I can. There we go. I just changed it so that people could see it. So let's see if okay. it'll edit. Does Keep it up there for a second. Yep. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> now people can probably see it. That's amazing. Okay. Cool. Wow. That's <laughs> that is such a cool picture. I'm like, whoa. I'm so blown away. That is such a cool. That's like so cool. It must have been really neat to meet him and to really hand him that. And I bet you he was really happy with, with seeing that. And, you know, yeah. wow. That's, that's you know, you are an incredible person. I, I truly do. Um, I have to say that is actually really neat. <laughs> Not a lot of people can say that. 
no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think yes. that's really cool. I think yeah. that's awesome. So I actually had this yeah. other question from you because um, here's the thing. Um, the the name of this is the next great civilization. Yeah. Um, and I think I think that was a really awesome name and a really awesome title. And um, you yes. have a lot of data on how we can make this the next great civilization. Um, and and you have plans and you have viewpoints and I just want to hear them all out. And I bet you the the viewers do too. And that's why they join. And I wanted to find out from you, um, you know, from you, like, what are your viewpoints? How is this going to happen? What's the next great civilization mean? And just give me all that data because I love it. Okay, cool. So the program for South Africa is to make the able more able. Okay. So um, a lot of that comes in with just education. That's the biggest like attack, <laughs> I would say, like <laughs> to it, right? Um, we've got teachers, we've got um, pastors who basically are like agreeing to this program of getting study technology into the schools. Um, wow. I don't know wow. how official that is. I wouldn't like <laughs> be like, this is like something like completely, absolutely happening, but it's it's definitely like, we have agreement uh, from officials and teachers and um, people like that in the country. Um, I help a lot with the Drug Free World seminars um, a lot. This is a really big button <laughs> here. So cool. um, and we have lots of people that come. <laughs> it's very cool. Um, every now, Obviously not right now, but when we don't have situations like a national lockdown, we have um, we go out in groups and just hand out truth about drugs and the way to happiness, and then we invite uh, teachers and officials to events every month or so. Um, yeah, and our plan is to just keep doing that, keep going to the churches, keep going to um, officials and just keep the word going. Um, every time I meet someone, I'm like, okay, cool. Have you heard about um, Drug Free World? Have you heard about Scientology, the church? They're like, really? Yeah, the church. Some people I have come across, they're like, yeah, I know the church. Like, of course, <laughs> they were doing the Drug Free World. Like, yes, they're like, yeah, I was supposed to come and I'm supposed to collect my booklets. And I'm like, supposed to like, do more stuff there, I'm supposed to do further <laughs> services. I'm like, really like yeah 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 I'm like okay no problem this is the direction you go here it's so simple it's really fun <laughs> that is so mind-blowing that is so cool i know i'm like i'm like kind of like blown away about how that is like how that's i just i'm just speechless off of that because i think that is so cool because it's like they're so able to just look at it and go I'm going to, yeah, 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 I need to go help. I need to go there. I need to. Yeah. Where do I go? You know, <laughs> it's like so cool. And I just love it. I'm like, wow. I just totally, like, I wish, you know, it's funny because we're, we're trying to get up to that point here, right? It's like we have so many distractions, right, that are going on in, in, um, in various different countries, right? So we all have our different ways of operating and our viewpoints and stuff. And it's so neat to see another viewpoint and see another see another area and kind of see, wow, that's actually occurring. That's how it goes. That's that's yeah. um, how it works there. And that's it's just like <laughs> it's so cool. And I just I'm so glad you shared that with me because I was like I'm like now that's I'm inspired neat. and I love doing these interviews because I get me I meet people like you and I meet people like you in and like over video because I know we've we've spoke before and we we are in, we're in communication. But I'm like, I love to hear it from you and I like to see you and I like to just have a communication or conversation with you about this because sometimes you don't get that. Sometimes you, you don't get that viewpoint when you're over text lines or whatever, you know? Sometimes you have yeah. to actually ask the person and go, can you tell me more about this? You know, kind of thing. So it's kind of neat. Yeah. So I really appreciate you again for being here. I think that's awesome. Cool. You're welcome. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> 
So then the next I mean, thing I have. I, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, go, go for ahead. it. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. No, go for it. So one person I was promoting to, um, she was in Washington, D.C., and she says to me, wow, because I can brief on this a little bit, right? But we were doing, we're doing the VM um, campaign here, majorly, decontaminating lots and lots and lots of places. Like we have the, so the Department of Social Development approving us, saying, yes, you may go. <laughs> and I was promoting that on Facebook and someone messaged me and said, we have to do this. What is the, the number <laughs> for uh, the VMs? Because I have to do this in my place. I was like, wow, you're in Washington, DC. I mean, this is totally cool. I'm like affecting you <laughs> with this. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> I was like, great, this is awesome. <laughs> that is so nice. Uh, yeah, I like doing that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and this decontamination. So it's like um, sanitizing and stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, and it's very needed in, in um, busy places, you know, and yeah. it's very needed in public places. And also, and I, and I see that you guys are doing a lot of that. And um, yes. I do want to say for the viewers that don't know much about that, I do have um, one area to, to give you more information about that, and that is to go over to the uh, volunteer minister's Kind of like it's like the South Africa page. It's really cool, and there's also other other people that um, are in South Africa that are posting about it. And there's videos, and I've I've watched a couple of them, and I'm like super inspired. And I think it's like mind blowing to watch the videos and to see how many places you guys are going in. Uh, the the changes that that um, that are that are happening, and also the amount of people that you guys are working with, and then the interviews are just awesome. Because I love hearing what the police officers have to say and the officials and, you know, and they just are so happy and they're so delighted and they're really accepting of it. And um, that's really all volunteer ministers are. And you're really showing, you know, that example, which yeah. is awesome. So I thank yeah. you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now, I also have this other question for you. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's a... It's it's kind of cool because um, when we were talking, I had this viewpoint, and um, I wanted to go ahead and communicate this because I thought this was really cool. And it's basically that um, you know, as as countries, we may not be in the greatest communication. We may not be in the greatest communication. We may not know yeah. how things roll or how things are or you know various different things that go on in South Africa and go on in the United States and go on in the United Kingdom and, and so on and so forth. But, you know, what, what is your viewpoint on, you know, um, cause with a new, with a great new civilization, you have to deal with the, um, the relations with different countries and stuff. What do you think yeah. is going to help with that? Cause right now we're, we're dealing with you uniting cause we have the situation that's going on. But I wanted to yeah. get from you your viewpoint on how to handle the situation in terms of uniting and getting away with all the, just getting all of the anger and upsets away from these relations. Sorry, I talk right. too much when I ask you a question. I just <laughs> have so many questions to ask you and it all comes out at once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. Um, what I think is just, is keeping on uh, improving our communication with each other like we starting here in south africa and we're like okay cool so you're a police officer and you're a social development person and you're a teacher and you're this and we're like wow we're kind of coming out of non-existence as for each other and we're like okay well we need um help and we promote we need help and we also promote a lot <laughs> so uh i guess like when we get reaches from the uk and we're like they're like oh well that's what south africa is doing it can inspire them to also do the same thing. Because I think if we keep going, keep moving and moving and moving, then <laughs> it will eventually sort itself out. Um, obviously, we want truth and we want knowledge. So for me, that's what Scientology is. But for others, that's their religion. And I think if we just get into agreements like agree to one another that we're going to treat each other as each and every other person wants to be treated. We're going to respect each other's religious beliefs. We're going to 
apply basically the way to happiness um, you through human rights and educate the individuals about drugs. I mean, I'm talking about when we do it, we do it in masses. We're like, okay, we're going to go to a school and teach 2,000 children about this. And we're going to go <laughs> and teach them for a week or something. And then we go to the next school, which is also 2,000 children. And we just keep moving that way. Um, some children come to our school called Education Alive, and we try to promote that as well um, and get them just educated. I think if they grow up in a way that they're edu they know what to learn and they can improve the economy, yeah, then that will work, <laughs> yeah. I love that. So you're basically, work, so basically, what you're saying is working on on like all aspects, like in mass, and then yes. um, you know ensuring that all of basically it's a funny analogy, but like make sure that all cannons are firing at once, kind of deal, and make sure that they're yes. all firing at once, making sure that all aspects are handled, and um, basically like doing it nonstop, and like don't yeah. give up, and just continue and make it happen, and see the purpose exactly. behind it. Exactly. And it's very simple. Just saying like, hi, my name is Nicola, for example. And just just doing that and just keeping the <laughs> communication cycle and I guess just keeping the relationships like a good, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I, I love that. <laughs> just I love saying that. Like, good. Hello. I respect you. I see that you're there. Exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> That's good. That's and, good. Just keeping, and just keeping in communication. Keeping communication, keeping the very simple basics in. Like, okay, good. Someone uh, didn't wash their hands after eating or something, especially now. Just say, hey, you should wash your hands um, and applying it. But not. It, it doesn't even have to be huge. It's just an application in your life that becomes normal. Um, human rights, just accepting that another person has rights is just the way that human rights works. You don't have to do anything other than respect that that person has it. And then it becomes part of your operating basis so you can start thinking, but that's just a different level. You just start with acknowledging that another person has rights. Um, that's beautiful. Drugs. <laughs> yeah, drugs as well. You just know what drugs can do. So when someone offers you drugs, you can say, well, this is gonna be bad for me. So I don't want to take it because it's going to ruin my my mental health and it's going to ruin um, my future. So I have the right now to say no. And I know what I'm saying no to as well. That's also good. Um, and it's just those simple things that could bring a civilization to the next level. Especially. I love that. Yeah. Especially when you want help and the help is being asked for it's very simple it's very easy and it's it's great <laughs> yeah yeah i i yeah. love that i love that yeah. viewpoint and i love the fact that you can see that happening even right now you can see that like, happening even more than before because we all have improvement right and we're all doing you know we're all doing our yeah. part and stuff but what you were saying there is like basically my viewpoint on that is like completely you know like I totally agree with it because it's, it's so real because if you see it and you go, okay, cool. Well, if somebody is, has the data, they can make the decision for themselves and they can make the right decision. And, they, right. and yes, there's a wrong decision as well, but they need to understand there's a wrong and there's a right. And, exactly. um, you know, we all need to understand that, you know, getting people to that right decision uh, means that we need to educate them on what's wrong. And I think that, I think what you said there was perfect when you said that, you know, it's like taking drugs. Well, they have to make that decision. They have to make sure that they make the right decision because it's harmful, but it's also, um, you know, it's harmful. And then there's other, this other viewpoint that it's somehow good or whatever, right? And so they have to figure out what that is too. Right. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. It gets, it gets confusing, but <laughs> getting the truth, well, you know, you'll like annihilate all of the considerations and all of the yeah. other viewpoints that you may have on it. And I yeah. love that. I love that. And that, yeah, I can see how that would be a great civilization. 
because people choosing what's right and what's wrong um, from right what's let me say that again choosing what's right and what's wrong for themselves um yeah i can see how that's a good viewpoint and that it's a good great civilization that would be that would be started just from that yeah. and i think that is what's happening in south africa and you'd agree with yeah. me on that one too because i've seen that and i've seen yes. it i've seen it for me too because i've seen a lot of my friends getting help and they show me they show me these really cool um successes from people that they're like i passed out this way to happiness book to this guy i was just gonna go eat but the guy wanted to have a conversation about the way to happiness and i was like okay cool let's do it you know so i so say hey come come eat come eat lunch with me i'm gonna go you know and it was cool <laughs> yeah and then this at the is. end he went back to course um and then he brought the guy with him and apparently he brought the guy with him and the guy started a course too and so they were in the same course room at the end and i was like oh my gosh this is so cool you know so <laughs> it's happening but it's just one person at a time too yes. so yeah we, we just we just do the masses but also one-on-one -on -one contact is also great as well because it gets yeah. that person involved and sometimes that person will just reach out to you and go hey can you help me out <laughs> which is super great yes. <laughs> So hey, on that topic, I really wanted to um, discuss with you um, really quickly about um, about truth and what your viewpoint is on truth. And um, you are, I consider you a partner of what's called the truth movement. And you're mm -hmm. a very, very big partner um, on this. And I, I wanted to say, um, like, what is your viewpoint on truth? And why do you think it's important that people get the truth so they can decide things for themselves? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So whatever is true for you is true for you, right? Um, but I think that as a human being, you are likely to accept truth to be more, um, it's real, it's, it's got a kind of an aesthetic to it, but it's, and it's kind of like something you don't even doubt about it. You're like, yeah, that's something you wouldn't even consider other than that's what it is. That's a truth. So when you, um, for example, give out truth about a religion, there's good. truth is good. It's goodness. So <laughs> when, you're, when you're talking about a religion, you're like, okay, good. I want to put you spiritually. I want to free you spiritually. Okay, cool. So then each person can find that in their own religion and find that whatever works for them. I for, for sure find that Scientology works and Scientology is very true. But then when someone doesn't have the truth, um, you get a good indicator when they have it. Like that's, that's when I know that's, that's truth for me. It's good indicators. It's like, okay, cool. That person uh, has something to believe in, has something, that is worthy, has something that um, they know they can do something productive with it in the future. Or, yeah. They know, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Exa exactly. For example, um, your books, right? I was like, I should get this. I need to get this. I have friends who were telling me about um, Leia Remini and <laughs> attacks, and I was like, uh, quite honestly, I'm not sure what to tell you, but I'm gonna say that that's not like they're not that's not true. <laughs> and they were like, but but, and I was like, okay, cool. So she isn't part of our group for a reason, not for a reason, right? And I'm trying to get into this con cycle. Eventually, I was like, okay, that's it. When I saw your book, I was like, I have to give this to you. <laughs> Because <laughs> she was fine. She liked the subject of Scientology when I was telling her about it and the 40 campaigns. Like the same people are like, I'm so happy you're doing what you're doing in the 40 campaigns. I'm like, yes. So that means truth can be brought home to you. It's possible. Like you can find another level of awareness. Like, great. There's hope. <laughs> it's awesome. I love that a lot. Yeah. I mean, you. You have truly given me, um, you know, a, a whole, you know, it's funny, every single time I interview somebody, they give me a whole other viewpoint on it. And it's kind of cool to see all, all viewpoints align. And it's kind of funny, right? So yes. when, I, when I'm sitting here, I got like a viewpoint from like Sarah, 
and Paul and all these people that I've, I've already interviewed, right? And I'm like, this is so interesting. And then with your viewpoint too, I'm like, this is awesome because it's all just coming together, right? And it's kind of yes. it's, it is a movement. It's a tsunami, like Anissa was saying yes yesterday. Yeah, it's a it's a tsunami. We're moving as a tsunami, and it's right. funny because it's your conversation with that person. It's Anissa's conversation with you know what what her what she was dealing with, and I'm like, yes. geez, everybody's having yes. their own impact, right? And it's all yes. coming together, and it's it's yes. we're all uniting on this truth this truth subject, right? Right. And truth is agreeable, and it can be united. And we all have our own truths, and that's what's cool about yeah. it. And so, when you're saying that, and Anissa saying that, and Paul's saying that, and and um, you know, and Sarah's saying that, I mean, it's just unreal how many people are putting truth in their environment, and what the calming effect is of that. I want to just yes. say that because you know, you you're told you're telling us that the humanitarian campaigns that we push out on a daily basis as the church is unreal and it's helping a lot of people and um, not many people know that and i'm glad you mentioned that too and i'm also glad you mentioned that the fact of um, people actually reaching out to people of faith and saying hey what's your religion about i've heard yes. all of this stuff about it but i'd never actually heard it from a scientologist and it's a perfect thing because they asked you about it. And you, of course, would know because <laughs> you're a Scientologist, <laughs> right? So they get the truth from you. And I think that's the most amazing part about this all is that people are coming to you for, for solutions. And you can yeah. you have the solutions. And it's not yeah. like any religion is higher than another religion. It's just we all have our various solutions, right? We all exactly. have our various viewpoints. And we all exactly. just need to work together because we all have the same purpose. And exactly. regardless of where you are, what walk of life you are, what country you live in, because right now it's like, I'm still blown away that I'm looking in the future right now because you're eight hours ahead, really. Or like to me, you're like, this is unbelievable. I'm like, literally like, you're nine there. And I'm like, this is not nine. What are you talking about? Right? <laughs> you know, but it's, it's interesting because we all have our own truths. So then it's kind of like, whoa, this is interesting. You know, so time zones are different, but it's so interesting because no matter where you are, we all are aligned on the same subject and the same purpose. And I think we're all doing a fantastic job right now. We just need to amplify it even more. And I actually wanted yes. to end this interview by just asking you, there's a lot of people going through some stuff in this situation everywhere around the world, right? Yeah. And um, sure. regardless of people's viewpoints and stuff on how it started, why it started, when it started, whatever, I don't care where it came from, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> All I care about <laughs> is what you would say to people that are going through this right now. What do they do, and um, how do they come out of this? You know, um, hap you know, better than they were before this all this all occurred. Like I know people yeah. were better, but you know, just tell us, tell us how, because just tell me how, and then the viewers will also agree as well. Okay. Okay. Cool. So um, it's just creating in the present time it's like for me every being on this planet is good so they're trying to do something and whether it's like they're failing at it whether it's uh they're having a like they're taking a loss like they're upset about it it doesn't matter it really doesn't what matters is what you do tomorrow it's what the next step is it's not even tomorrow what you do today it's what you do in the next minute it's what you decide it just takes a decision to say that's it i'm going to change i'm going to accomplish the goals that i've been trying to accomplish i'm going to now improve this part of my environment this part of my house this part of my community it could be literally very simple and doesn't need to even take a long time um and as long as you're just participating in the activity, it's that's that's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, I love how you said that. Yeah. Just keep yeah. moving. Just keep making things happen, regardless of the situation. Basically, exactly. that's what you're saying. Is you know, um, you know, people because just you know, it's when you're productive. Yeah. Exactly. When you're productive, it increases your morale, right? So you want, you tend to want to do more. You tend to find things that you can create. You tend to find ways 
to do the things you wanted to do, just as long as you put your attention on it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. So it's very simple and it's very fun as well. You have to take it as a game. It's like, crap, I'm in this situation right now and it's horrible. Well, what's the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to find something that I can do, find something I can fix in the house, find something I can grow my business. I can take uh, something, this business that I've had that's been sitting there for a while and grow it. I can promote, I can, um, I can make a friend, <laughs> you know, I can find out what that friend needs and uh, maybe make a business with them. Like there's many ways to come out of this crisis, let's say, exactly, that we're in. <laughs> That's beautiful. And that's that's matter, beautiful. And, and you know, yeah. what you're saying is, yeah, what you're saying is get your attention off of it and produce and do what you can. Do do what you can be cause yeah. over and control over because this is a different situation. And it, yes, it is pretty hairy. And yes, it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. But, you know, you get to the point where you, you apply what you just said there and you apply what mm -hmm. you just said there in, in terms of you produce and do things that you can do. Don't worry about the things that you can't do. Um, yes. Don't get too caught up in the chaos and only focus on the solutions and focus on exactly. what you can do to get out of the situation. Because in the end, it's not going to go on forever. The situation is not going to go on forever. But yeah. where do you want to be when you're out of the situation? Where do you want to exactly. be when the situation's over? And it's exactly what you're saying there. I just wanted to back that up even more. Because I think that was like the most truthful thing that could ever be said about the situation at this present time, you know. Yes. But um, I just I, I believe that you seriously have really awesome viewpoints, and seriously you have amazing, um, what is it? You have just an amazing care factor, and purpose, and um, help. You know that you want to help and you want to do this, and you're doing it. And I want to validate yeah. you on that, commend you on that, because I think that you know you are one of the people I do look up to in times of going, you know what? You know, I can't I can't say that I don't think about this, but I kind of go, should I push on? <laughs> you know, kind of thing, should I push on? I mean, I'm getting a lot of heck, but, um, you know, That's but funny. when I look at you and you're pushing through and I look at Jessica and she's pushing through and I look at Sarah and I look at all these people and it's, it's, it's my close knit group that I have that I look at and there's certain people that I look look at to see what they're doing and putting their attention right. on and making right. happen. And I'm doing right. these interviews because I really want to find out more about that and make and let my viewers know that and also just let the people of the world know that they don't need to freak the F out because they don't they don't need to do that. They don't. Freaking out yeah. wouldn't be part of the solution. It would be part of the the um the problem and you don't want to do that. Yeah. So I love that. And I, I do want to yeah. say one more thing to the viewers because um, I want to say that if you guys would like any help and you guys live in, in South Africa or just live anywhere and you guys want a viewpoint, you guys want a solution, you guys want some help, reach out to Nicola. She's amazing. Um, um, I say her name kind of differently than what she says because I think that's the correct way of saying her name is what she's saying. I kind of butcher people's names, so, you know. <laughs> Just gonna say that now, but uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, okay, I say Nicola. <laughs> Nicola, see there we go, Nicola. Yes. So reach yes. out to Nicola. Um, she'll help you out. Um, she's on Facebook. I reach out to her via um, Facebook Messenger. Um, you guys need any help? Reach out to her. Um, I just want to build a movement, and um, Nicola is an amazing part of this movement, and um, I just want to yeah. validate her on wanting to speak to us, and really wanting to come out and talk about the solutions and the viewpoints and just being there for us in this time of need. And um, we're all just going to make it through this. And it's all because of people like you, Nicola. So thank cool. you. You're welcome. All righty. Okay. Well, you have a great night. We're going to end it here. Um, we're definitely yeah. going to have you back. So we're going to keep in communication about that because there's going to be a lot more to discuss. <laughs> so um, Awesome. Thank you so much. I super appreciate it. Cool. Okay. Awesome. No problem. And you're welcome. And bye. And thank you for the to the viewers. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not sure who they were, but 
Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There, there have been about 30 plus people that have been joined in. Um, wow. A couple of people have actually just stick, stuck around and they're in the middle of a bunch of stuff. But it looks like, yeah, I mean, there's just so many people from around the world that have joined in and listened in. Um, you'll bet you'll get to see them probably their comments at the end of this live stream, but um, okay. you'll love it. You'll love it, cool. and you got a lot of response from this. I think it was really good, and um, <laughs> I think you helped a lot of people, and I appreciate that. Wow, wow, that's awesome! I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you did it. Thank you so much, Nicola. I appreciate it. We'll keep in touch, and um, definitely thank you so much. Yep, <laughs> cool. All righty. Bye. Bye.